Hey guys, Aaron here with Double A Shaves, back for another video. It's been a little bit. Uh, I went on vacation recently and forgot all my shave gear, so I got about 10 days growth here. Um, definitely off my normal routine. I When I'm home, I like to shave every day or every other day. and uh, So yeah, this is a little different, um, but uh, I am excited to mow it down today. I'm going to be using my Parker 26C with the open comb design. Yeah, just a really neat looking razor there. Um, it's got a nice heavy handle. Uh, this is my first razor that has a really heavy handle and I've come to learn that this is definitely like now up my alley because I feel like the weight of the handle, it applies a lot of the pressure for you. Just, you know, just is a really a, a joy to shave with and uh, it's just awesome. Um, yeah, I got a couple more razors in the way, one of which has like a really heavy handle. so. Really excited to try those out in, in the near future. Um, yeah, really been enjoying the open comb design. It's got a little bit of a learning curve, uh, you know, because sometimes when you're when you're going over on your face, like it'll, I guess, some of the soap, the comb doesn't pick up all the soap, so you have like some residual, you know, soap in your face, and it's hard to tell if you shave there. But you know, uh, it's fun to try it out and get better at it. So yeah, really happy to. Um, you know, I think, I think this is going to do a good job of mowing down the hair today. Um, new blade I've, I'm going to be using. I've actually had these for a while in my den, but yeah, these are Sharks, um, Sharks Super Stainless. Got these a while back in a sampler pack and, you know, I guess the shave I, I had it, I used them with, it didn't really work out and I just threw them to the side and I was like, oh, they suck. They're not good blades, but you know what? Um, maybe, you know, maybe they'll redeem themselves today. You know, I, they've been sitting there. I kind of felt bad. So I want to put them to good use. Um, and you know, I'm feeling pretty good about it. I think, uh, now that my technique's better, I think, um, we might see some good stuff from these. Uh, yeah, these, these are made in, uh, Alexandria, Egypt. Yeah, Egypt. I don't know if you guys have ever used these shark blades, but, um, yeah. I don't know, kind of a cool package there. And I think, uh, yeah, I think stainless blades do a pretty good job. So I'm excited to see how these, this shave goes today with these sharks here. Uh, so for today, Atomic Pumpkin, man. I mean, just first of all, like, look at that label. It's so cool. You know, Doug always kills it with the labels over here at PAA. Um, yeah, he's kind of holding a little slant razor there and there's some fish here. Just his labels are always insane and, <laughs> Yeah, I really, really like this one a lot. Um, the old Atomic Pumpkin label was cool too. It had like the same kind of guy, but I think he was flying through space. Um, and you know what? I mean, not to rip on this new one, but I actually like that old one better. I kind of wish I had it, but um, yeah, this one's definitely neat too. A lot going on in this one. Yeah, I got this back in the fall and like, I'm just gonna be using it all year round because I love the scent that much. Um, I mean, when it comes to bay rum, this is, I, I really, really like bay rum. And this is uh, by far my favorite bay rum here. This is just amazing. Yeah, this is in the CK6 formula. So you get five ounces of soap there. Really, really nice pour there. I scooped out a lot for, because I'm a bowl out of there. So I scooped out a lot there. Yeah, and then this is, uh, and then this is an example of CK1. So this is four ounces and the texture of the soap is a little bit harder, you know, a little bit, takes a little more time to apply in the bowl because it's sort of a different texture. Um, yeah, CK6 is more of like, it's kind of cool because when you're applying it in the bowl with your finger, it's it's more like a butter. So it kind of melts with your body heat and it's really easy to apply in the bowl and it's just awesome. Um, man, the scent of this, so yeah, Bay Rum. So here's an example of a normal bay rum. This is Sterling's take. And this is classic, like, this is just cinnamon, clove, nutmeg, orange, and bay. You know, which is like, that's just classic bay rum. And then Atomic Pumpkin, there's a lot more going on in this one. So these, the same notes are in Atomic Pumpkin, except clove. Uh, PAA doesn't put any clove in their bay rum. Um, yeah, Atomic Pumpkin's got a lot more going on. It's got the cinnamon, clove, nutmeg, orange, and bay, like the Sterling Classic version. But uh, 
dog added in pumpkin, allspice, ginger, and alemi resin. I might not be pronouncing that correct, but yeah, I think that's sort of smell, that's sort of like frankincense. It's like a tree resin, like a, the sap of a tree. And I think it's kind of supposed to smell like lemon. Um, but man, I mean, the addition of the pumpkin notes in this one, you know, it's like a pumpkin bay rum and man, it just, it works so well. Like the pumpkin notes, the allspice and the pumpkin, it's, it is, it's the perfect addition to the notes in classic bay rum. And man, this is one of the greatest scents that Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements has ever released. It's just amazing, you know, and it's perfect, good crowd pleaser, not too gourmandish like a lot of people would think. You know, when I smell it, it's not, the first thing that jumps out at me, it's not like pumpkin pie. It's, it's more, it's more of a scent that, you know, it, it there's a little bit of gourmand in there, but it's, it's a little hard to explain. It's, uh, it's just a really smooth bay rum, you know, that's rounded out by, I think the pumpkin notes in there and, um, man, it really is beautiful. One of the greatest not just seasonal, but one of the greatest scents PA has ever put out. And I just love it so much. I wear it all the time. Great year round scent. Um, yeah, I'm, and this is a unique one too. I mean, I don't, no artisan has ever done a scent like Atomic Pumpkin before. So it's, I'm really, really happy to be using that one today. Oh, and I, I do have the matching splash here. Went down a little bit there. Um, yeah, just really, really awesome. Um, oh yeah, and I did recently find out, I got an email from Phoenix, I found out that he's discontinuing a lot of, uh, what is he discontinuing? I got it right here. Uh, First Night, Black Bot, Big Shave East, Big Shave Southwest 2020, Strange Island, The Wow Signal, and Ovalite. <laughs> I could be pronouncing that Ovalite one wrong, but yeah, it's kind of a shame. Um, yeah, Big Shave East is one of my favorite scents that he does. It's just a beautiful apricot tobacco scent. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm really bummed about that. So before the 30th, when he discontinues them, I'm going to probably pick up. Um, yeah, this is the shampoo puck. I'm probably going to pick up the, the soap and aftershave of Big Shave East. Yeah, and then I do have Strange Island here, which he's also discontinuing. And kind of a bummer because this one is good. It's like... Um, it's like a lavender sage thing. It's like a really crisp, really fresh lavender. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, it's kind of a bummer uh, it didn't sell well, but um, you know, it's just the nature of the business. He's got a big catalog and he's gonna make room for more. So yeah, oh well. All right, got my soap lathered up. Nice here in the bowl, my black ship grooming bowl. Using my big brush today. Really nice lather there too. I, I might have overhydrated this time, but I, you know, I tend to do that and it usually works out. Feels good on my face, so we'll go with it. Got my big guy, got the Yaki synthetic here, the barber pole handle. Got another brush in the way, so I'm excited to be using that pretty soon too. But yeah, this one, been loving this one lately. So let's go ahead and mow it down here. All right. everyone's doing doing well um oh yeah and uh one of the guys on youtube who got me into this atomic pumpkin um was his name was silky creamy and i don't know what happened to him he hasn't made a video in like five months he hasn't really responded to comments i hope he's okay um but uh yeah, it's just kind of weird. I don't know. He was, his videos were cool because he would like, he was like a really big soap enthusiast and he would like do like the close ups, open up the jar and show the texture and give his thoughts on the scent. And man, I loved his videos. I don't know what happened to him, but yeah, Silky, if you're out there, you know, let me know because I did dig your content. Oop, dropping a little bit of soap here, being a little careless. Hmm. Yeah, CK6 always gives like a nice, nice lather. Um, 
I have a lot in CK6 and CK1. Uh, I don't really give too much thought anymore on which one I get. You know, CK6 is, I think, $10 more. Um, and for a good reason. It performs better, easier, easier to lather up. You get another ounce of soap. Um, but a lot of times lately, too, with my recent phoenix purchases i just you know if i'm just into the scent i'll probably go for ck1 um you know because i but both bases perform well so i don't really care anymore um but yeah ck6 is a good deal you know you get an extra extra ounce of soap better performing soap Now, I noticed that some of his releases, like he only releases in CK6, so there's that too, but I think most of his stuff, he gives you the option. All right, let's see. First pass, try out the new Shark Blade here, see how it does. Yeah, I got a Blade sampler pack on the way. Um... Yeah, because lately I've only been using my Astro Superior Platinum, and it's like, you know what? It's fun to change it up. I'm going to, so I got a sampler pack off Maggard's. Uh, you know, what's in there? Treat. I think they're made in, Treat are made in Pakistan, I think. I got some Derby in there. Uh, got some Gillette Silver Blue. Yeah, just a lot of plays I've been wanting to try lately. Uh, All right, yeah, so far this uh, Parker Open Comb and the Shark combo is doing pretty good. Don't want to jinx or anything, but yeah, I mean, for 10 days growth, it's already mown it down pretty well, so. And then the neck is always the real test. So far, so good. Yeah, I've just been seeing a lot of videos lately where people are, are using, like every shape, they use a different blade. And I'm like, you know what? That sounds kind of fun. I got a sampler and, uh, you know, why not? Fun to compare them. You know, I got a couple razors on the way, so I was like, why not? While I'm on Maggards, I'll pick up uh, blade sampler packs. Maybe I'll find a new favorite. Yeah, current favorite is the Astro, so. Um, wow, so far so good. So far so good. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go do with the grain and against the grain today so I don't take up too much time. But... Yeah, because lately I've been skipping the across pass and I feel that it doesn't make too much of a difference if you get a close shave, so. Or I mean, you get a, you get a close shave if you do the across pass or not, I feel like, so. Nice audible feedback here too. All right. I would say good first pass here. Nick free, it's always good. Especially when you have a lot of growth, so. Yeah, again, I really dig this, uh, the weight of the handle here. It just does a lot of the work for you and it's just really pleasant. Um, yeah, like I said earlier, I got another really uh, heavy handle coming in from Maggers. I, I forget what it's called, I don't have it in front of me, but it's like, man, it's like, the width is like that, it's huge. I got an aggressive head to go along with it. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know, I just, I kind of want to try something aggressive and uh, I feel like the, the, uh, 
the heavy handle with the aggressive head is going to be. For some reason, I feel like it's just going to be a good combo, so I'm excited to try that. Um, and I got an Edwin Jagger. I've been hearing a lot of good things about that brand. I picked up uh, picked up a razor. It's got like a rubber handle instead of like the normal metal, which is interesting. Um, and it just looks cool. So I think that's like a mid-level, maybe even mild aggressive one. So uh, yeah, that's... That's exciting. I got a Sterling uh, Badger brush coming in. Pretty good deal on that guy. It was like 35 bucks. Sterling always has good deals and I've always wanted to get one of their brushes. So I'm happy about that. All right, I would say that's a good ladder right there. And then I got a sampler pack from a soap brand I've been wanting to try is uh, Southern Witchcraft. They're, they make vegan soaps. And there's a lot of great vegan soaps out there. I mean, Phoenix is a great vegan one. Um, yeah, and I think their thing is kind of like... Uh, and be careful in the neck here. Yeah, their thing is kind of like dark... Kind of dark, earthy scents. And uh, that's right up my alley, so I got a sampler pack of all their stuff. Or, or ten, I think they're ten original soaps. Really, really excited to uh, give them a try because I know for a fact I'm gonna like a lot of them. So just based on the description. All right, just letting the weight of the handle do the work here. Oh, there we go. It's kind of funny too, like sometimes, you know, when soap builds up on one side, you know, instead of like switching over to the other side, I'll just rinse it right away. But then it's funny, like other times I find myself using both sides, which I want to get into that habit of using both. It just kind of makes the shave quicker, you know? All right. Yeah, and Dog over at PAA, I mean, he's he's like the king of Bay Rum. Um, yeah, there's an old video on his channel where he he shows how to make his uh, Bay Rum aftershave. And, uh, yeah, the process is just super neat. He has actual, like, bay leaves. And uh, he's got this whole contraption where he makes the aftershave. And uh, yeah, you know, I've smelled a, a couple other Bay Rums and he, man, his are just are easily the best. Like he's got, he's got one called Boomtown where he like, it's like a Bay Rum and like a Western, like leather type scent. He's got one with bay and frankincense and myrrh. Um, yeah, just really, really, really into his bay rum scents. Okay. All right. See how we did here. See how we did. See if I miss anything. Ah, a little bit on the mustache. Really. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit on the sideburns. All right, looking good. Great shave today, great post shave feel on CK6, Shark Blade did a good job. And I am very happy with it, very happy with this shave. 
I'll go get my paper towel here. All right. Yeah, it's funny, like with a lot of these products, you use them once and it's like, you just assume they're bad because you get a bad shave with them. But I mean, who knows? You could have just been having a bad day and the shave didn't work out. But yeah, I'm glad I picked up this shark blade again because it did good. So it's like now I'm into shark again. And it's just funny how that works sometimes with shaving products. So huh. after shave, all right, here we go. Atomic pumpkin. Yeah, and I'm, I'm happy I still have a lot of this because this is a fall seasonal, so. Wow, I put that cap on tight. Oh my God, I hope I can get this open. There we go. It smells pretty identical to the soap. Yeah, it's just, it's the craziest thing. Like there's a little bit of gourmand, but it's like not a gourmand at the same time. It's just like, I think you just added in like the spices you would put like when you're making pumpkin pie, but it's not, it's not like a, too much of a sugary thing going on. Oh, yeah, e easily my favorite bay rum on the market. Oh, it's just, it's so beautiful. So, so, so beautiful. Great year round scent. Great. All right. Well, very happy with that shave today. The Parker and the Shark and the Atomic Pumpkin. Thank you guys so much again for watching and supporting. It really does mean a lot. And um, yeah, I got a lot of good stuff coming. So I'm excited to start shaving again on a regular basis. So yeah, you guys have a good weekend and I hope you all yeah, <laughs> hope you guys are doing well, and uh, thanks for your support. It means a lot. Take care.